How's it going everyone? Clinton Jones here. I just wanted to go over how my previous video was made. Um, the ugliest man in the world, which is apparently me. So, uh, one thing a lot of people don't know about me is I actually look this ugly in real life. In all, in all my other videos, I just motion tracked, you know, a normal face onto myself that looked like this. So, the real work is done here, not here. So, let's get started. Let's hide all of our layers besides the raw footage. And you see that I have two tracker points here. And when I was filming this, I stayed as still as possible um, because I knew it was going to be really hard. This was actually one of the hardest um, one of the hardest effects I've done in a long, long time. So basically what I did was when I would pull my lip down and when I would want it to like freeze, what I would do is just... Um, when it got to the frame right about, I guess, here, I would take a screenshot of this by going composition, save frame as file, and I would save that picture out. And in Photoshop, I would mask out my fingertips here, and then just use the clone tool um, and get parts of the lip up here and just paint it in down here. I also use the burn and dodge tool to, you know, make it blend better. So, once I got that picture, I brought it back into After Effects and I maxed it out and I feathered it so that I just and then I just motion tracked that picture over my face. So in the in the raw footage, obviously it doesn't stick. You know, it looks like this. But if you turn on the mouth and the mouth shadow, it's stuck like this. So that's kind of how I did that. So everything that that sticks are just basically pictures motion tracked on to my face. Same with the ears. You know, I pull the ears out to here, and when I let go, they obviously come back, but I motion track the picture here of when I pull them out. Same with everything else. That's what I did for everything. Now, notice that my ears, since they're a picture and they're feathered out, you know, they're in front of my hand, so I had to make a new layer, make a, a mask and I had to go frame by frame and this took so long oh my gosh it just oh god it was terrible but I mean it turned out pretty well so I had to mask everything frame by frame um, I mean it, it seems it, it doesn't seem as hard as it looks but it's not even hard it's just really annoying Ugh. so once I got that you know I smacked myself and kinda look funky here kinda look like a weird like avatar thing with the ears but <laughs> like that's when you know you just turn off the layers right here so the next frame everything's gone and when you're motion tracking and parenting stuff to the objects the null objects you want to add motion blur on them to make it look realistic look at all the tracks I have here these are all just separate tracks because I didn't just use um, these tracking points I used um, like my pupils here, I used my ear, the ear, the bottom of my ear here, my nostrils, um, just, you know, whatever I can get the best track from. So, that was basically how I did it. And then I had to, let's see here, all of these are masks to take out these tracking points. So if I were to turn all these on, hopefully those will go away. Yeah, and you can kind of tell, like you can kind of tell that it's like, you know, it's not too, it's not perfect, but when, you know, if you didn't, if no one told you, you wouldn't really know. So, if I turn it back on, you can see my skin is kind of lighter around those points. Because I am colorblind, by the way, so. It's, it's, it's kind of hard for me, so, you know, gotta do what I gotta do. Anyway, um, what else, what else? These are, yeah, I've been over these tracks, all the tracks here. Um... I had, yeah, just, you know, some masks. Um, one thing was, like, people said that I messed up right when I, like, when I did this thing here, which is disgusting, is I went over, or my hands went behind the lips. Now, I tried it with them going over the lips, and it didn't look that great. It just looked better this way, so I left it like this. But, um, that's pretty much it. Um... You know, some people have posted in the comments, like, 
you know, you can do effects and everything, but if you don't have, like, a good, a creative way of doing it, then, I mean, it's just, like, who cares? So when you guys are doing your effects, try and think of, like, a really creative way of doing it. Like, Freddy did the, uh, the whole rocking out on the car thing, where he, like, climbed out of his car on the freeway and played guitar on the roof. It's a really cool video. It's like, you just need to come up with creative ways of doing effects, and, um, you can really get some cool stuff. But yeah, um, that's kind of how that effect worked, and um, expect more stuff in the future. And also, thank you to all my new subscribers. Um, I know I got a lot from Freddy. So, yes, expect some more stuff. Thank you.